Hi, Pisces. Let's see what's going on in Pisces' love life. Let's see what's going on in Pisces' love life. What's going on in your love life, Pisces? What's the message? What's going on in Pisces' love life? All right, three of cups, Pisces, okay? So for some of you guys, for some of you Pisces, okay, for some of you Pisces, not all of you Pisces, okay? If it doesn't resonate, it's not your story. All right, so <laughs> for some of my Pisces, there is someone that is in your life um, or coming into your life. This could be a friend or someone that um, you're comfortable around, you know. You know, this is about friendship, gatherings, get together, going out on a date, having fun on the town, you know, that good stuff. So there is someone here that is interested in you, okay? They're interested in you and in probably more than just a friend. Yeah, I feel like this person is interested in you in more, yeah, in more ways than just being a friend. Uh, I feel like this is someone here that is very friendly with you, okay? This person wants to come out of the cold here with you. Um, I feel like, though, yeah, this person is definitely, like, flirting with you, interested in you. Hmm. Interesting. This person is very attracted to you. They're very attracted to you, um, Pisces, like in more ways than I can say you know um someone is definitely interested in you and they may be flirting they may be like this is someone who's like coming off very strongly they're showing it that hey i definitely like you i like being around you i love being around you tell me more this is a reunion that you may be having with someone king of pentacles in reverse oh gosh okay mm. What is it? What is it about this person? Tell me more. Mmm, Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, baby. So, what's going on in your love life? It looks like there's somebody here who loves being around you, wants to be around you. There could be some type of reconnection or reunion here with a friend or someone that you know or you're close to or maybe you're meeting someone um, that really, really likes your company. I mean, they really do enjoy your company and I do feel like they're very strongly attracted to you. Um, but I feel like with this King of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups here, you guys are turned away from each other. So Pisces, you're closed off emotionally and this person is trying to protect something about themselves honestly i get this energy that this person may be a little insecure here they're insecure around you they're dealing with someone who's very insecure around you someone's insecure about you pisces they're insecure about their situation or just someone that's just really insecure when it comes to being around you and i don't feel like you make it any easier you don't make it any easier for this person. You're very closed off emotionally. Um, you're not letting this person in. It's like distant. Tell me more. Yeah, Eight of Wands coming from your direction. Okay, Pisces. Um, it seems to me that you may not be as attracted to this person as you want to be, or you're not as... Um... <sighs> Pisces, you're being picky about something. You're not as attracted to this person as this person is to you, possibly. And you make this person feel very insecure. Now, this could be in reverse. You know, flip it around, whatever. I'm reading the cards as I see it fall. Tell me more. <laughs> Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Um, Pisces. <clears throat> Someone... I feel like someone is really kind of like 
someone obviously doesn't want to let you go. Um, but there is some type of insecurity here that this person feels when they're around you. This is so weird. Emotionally, you're closed off. To this person and honestly I don't know why I was getting at your picky you may be like nitpicking or very picky when it comes to this person with this four of pentacles here you're very closed off and very picky about certain things here about this person certain aspects about this person <laughs> and you're very serious like you're so serious you're not willing to budge on these things you're not willing to budge on these certain principles or things here that you feel about someone but this person is trying to reconnect with you or have a have a reunion with you have fun with you enjoy your company and honestly they're they're maybe kind of overdoing it trying to enjoy your company but someone here is making things difficult like it's it's too difficult two of you guys to turn away from each other this could be a capricorn virgo taurus um, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer, or someone who has Earth heavy in their chart. I just really feel like this is your energy here. And I feel like it's weird because I really kind of feel like this person feels like you don't like them like that. Tell me more. Like what you're saying or what it, how you're saying it. You have a magician in reverse. I'm going to keep it real with you, Pisces. Um... I hate to say this about this person. If you're dealing with somebody, sorry, you guys. If you're dealing with somebody in love and, <laughs> and it's like you're, you're not attracted to something about this person and you can't, I don't know for some of you guys, if you can't put your finger on it or if your intuition is off just a little bit, but let me tell you what it is. Let me tell you if you're right or wrong about this person. So when it looks like Pisces is that the magician card was the next card that came out in the present moment. And it's uh, connected to the king of pentacles in reverse. So, oh my God, you're dealing with somebody who's very insecure, maybe about like, you know, they're just insecure. Like they're insecure in general, like overall, especially in regards to their finances. Um, they may be insecure about where they are. Uh, something in regards to their skills, their abilities. So they're maybe manipulating a little bit, okay? This person is manipulating. I hate to say it. They're exaggerating or they're manipulating something. They're, it's like they're making themselves out to seem like they have more money than what they have, more statue, like they like maybe a position or a higher ranking at something. It's it just, it's weird. It's like someone who's trying to, they're trying too hard. They're very, and you, you are unattracted to it. The Queen of Cups is in reverse. This is you. Like you're turned off with this Eight of Wands and this Queen of Cups. You're turned off by this person in some way because you don't feel like this person is being authentic. And I feel like what's going on is that, yeah, it's attention. It's like attention seeking. You feel like this person is really trying too hard to get your attention or to see something about them. But what's com what's happening is that you're authentic. You Something about you is very authentic and very real. And honestly, it, you're turned off by this person is what I'm seeing. So you're very turned off by this person. This person does really um, like you. They may really want to be around you. They love being around you, enjoying your company. Um, but you can sense something about this person and it's a turn off to you. And it's also closing you off to this person. Mm. This person feels like by being this way that they can hold on to you, that they can get your attention, but it's not working. I don't know who this may have worked with in the past. I don't know how successful this was in the past, but it's damn sure not working with you. Okay, so you, you're so turned off by this person and it's so unattractive to you. You're unattracted to it. And what makes them, <laughs> this person just wants you to like them, Pisces. 
but you're not liking it. You're not liking them because they're not authentic. They're not real. They're misusing their skills and abilities. Okay. I just heard something about their job title in some way. It's like, it's so unattractive to you. You're so unattracted to this person because of they're not authentic and they're manipulating, maybe exaggerating their title, their their workmanship, their qualities about them. They're exaggerating this. It's not like it's, it's like, okay, you're a firefighter. So what do you do? <laughs> then they start saying things and it's just like, you don't want to listen to this shit. This is you. You're like, let me show you. This is how it is. Like, you really don't want to listen to it. You get bored because you're like, you don't believe anything that's coming out this person's mouth. So you just kind of like, yeah, shut down. You shut down emotionally. You shut down uh, energetically when it comes to being attracted to them. Like something about you makes you not attracted to this person. And the way it's coming up with the magician in reverse, this person may really lack some type of skill and quality because they're, um, what's the word? Because they are presenting themselves to be something that they're not, or they're, uh, manipulating their, their situation. You know, it's obviously it's deceit in some way. It's like, they're being very deceitful about their skills and achievements. And you can, you know, or you can tell, I don't know how you can tell this, or you can sense this, or you're reading between the lines. Tell me more. You're definitely not open to this person. Tell me more. Yeah, five of wands. Ooh, Pisces, you don't. And there's a lot of, com okay, so in the present moment, um, I feel like this person is trying to win your attention is what they're trying. It's That's it. That's it. Someone's just trying to win your fucking affection or attention. You don't understand, like, I hate to say it. This person, okay, we could take this too. This person is just trying to win your affection. They're trying to win your affection. They're trying to get your attention. They're trying to get you interested in them. That's it. And Pisces, that's you're like, nah, that's not the way to do it. You obviously have an issue with this. You have an issue with something that you clearly feel or you clearly see about this person. You have an issue with it. Don't worry, Pisces. I, I heard that they do this with everyone. But this may be how they lose everyone. They do this with everyone. It's like they're trying to fight for your affection or attention by over-exaggerating their title, their, what they do. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles here. Aww. I feel like this person may just wants to win you over. Um... I don't know why I'm getting, I keep hearing craftsmanship or by their workmanship or cra workmanship or craftsmanship. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they're showing, oh, it's so on a track. Damn, this could be perfect if this person was just really authentic to who they were, to their position, to their ranking, to their workmanship, to their craft, to what they do, to their skills, to their abilities, but they're not. They're they're um they're manipulating something here about themselves, Pisces, to get you to like them. And honestly, I'm sorry, it's so embarrassing to read this in the cards. I don't give a fuck about the third party um, or whoever. Like, this is what I'm seeing. And if you see this, I hope that you can do something about this um, because I don't think it's working for you when it comes to Pisces or anybody else in general. It causes conflict. It causes conflict. And, and honestly, it causes conflict with the person, with Pisces. And the issue is too, is that the real conflict here is, or the real chaos or the real conflict is with this person um, and their insecurity, okay? Or how they see, or how they um, want people to see them or view them. Um, the night of that.
honestly, this is crazy because this is someone who will not let up. They will not let up. Like Pisces, I feel like you're challenging this person. You will be challenging this person if you haven't already in the past, present, future, energy, whatever. You're challenging this person to be loyal, to be authentic with who the fuck they are, to be real, to keep it real. Nine of Pentacles, just keep it real. What do you really do? What is it that you really do? How much is it that you really bring in? It's something like that. You're, you're challenging this person and the way you're doing it though, it's like tough love because like you're closing your emotions off because maybe you don't want to repeat yourself. I feel like you don't like repeating yourself or trying to get the real answer. It's like you're trying to get something out of this person, but you can't because the four of pentacles is them very closed off, right? And and they they're very closed off and they're being like very manipulative uh in regards to something that they have, something that they uh have achieved or something in regards to their stability or something that they possess like they're being so this person has to know that that shit is not attractive but honestly they don't know that they think that it's really attractive they think that by doing this they're they're attractive in some way they think that they they are attracting you but they're not they're repelling you it's like a repellent Fuck yeah. Look at temperance in reverse. It's a repellent. And you're challenging this person to be loyal, to be just loyal to a situation. <laughs> Tell me more. They want to be. <laughs> yeah, seven of wands. Like this person, um, you won't let up, Pisces. You won't let up. You're somebody, it, it's not going to work. It's not going to work because you won't let up until you get, <laughs> until you get the truth and they are who they are and they're going to continue to be this way. They're not going to give up and you're not going to give up is what it looks like. Tell me more. I'm hearing this is my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Tell me more. It's a lot, it's a lot of fire here. Yeah, like I'm telling you, you're not going to get a word out of this person. I'm telling you, you might as well just hang it up. Um, before this person shows you who they truly are, before this person opens up about what they're not skillful at, the things that they don't, uh, that they have not achieved, that they're not really good at, before they do that, they will go, they will not communicate with you. <laughs> they will just stop communicating. That's <laughs> so weird. Or they'll stop if they okay. Or I just heard or yeah, they'll stop communicating. Look, I'm not lying to you. Eight of Wands with the four four of swords. They'll stop communicating with you before they decide to out themselves in some way or say, Hey, I guess you're you know, you got me. I'm not this real smart educated person. I really don't have a lot of money. I, I yeah, I I just I just put those titles there. I just made myself look a certain way. I promise you, before they do that, baby, <laughs> before they do that, they will just stop communicating. They cannot help themselves. They cannot help themselves. Pisces <laughs> is so pissed at this. Pisces is like, man, you would be a good person or, you know, you'd be a good partner. You'd be perfect if you would just do this. And you're bringing, you're challenging this person in some way to be authentic, to be loyal. And the harder how they feel, I do feel like this person does like, I feel like they do want to be practical about a situation here with you, but there's a lot of resistance to it. The resistance comes from their own insecurities, their own, um, lack of achievements in life, you know, not being the magician. Tell me more. This is too funny. I'm sorry, you guys. I've been really like, things has been really making me laugh. Three of pentacles in reverse. Like, yeah. Mm -mm. Pisces, you are not going to work with this person. That's what I was just saying. This is not going to work. Three of pentacles in reverse and it's crossing your energy. Let me show you your energy, right? You're the queen of cups. Honey, let me show you what you're doing. You're not about to fucking deal with this. You're not dealing with this. You're you're making it difficult. You are not going to work with this person. You're not willing to be a team player. You're not willing to, 
you know, meet this person halfway. I feel like you're also like you're you're in your feelings because you feel like someone is just inadvertently just like like you're just gonna sit here and lie in my face or like do you really think I'm that dumb? So you are bringing some type of heat to this person. You are definitely not going along with this, and this really upsets you and it makes you angry that someone would just be like sitting up here lying in your face and are uh, thinking that you're dumb in some way and you don't want to hear something that this person has to say because you know that it's not accurate or it's not true or it's false or you know that this person is like just making shit up or like it's like make-believe you're not willing to work with this person and this person is not willing to fix anything about this manipulation this this they're not willing to fix it they're not willing to work on it they're not willing to um you know hell no three of pentacles with the four pen this person is not willing to do it they're just really not willing to do it they're not willing to budge they're not willing to fix this work on this educate themselves to be better about this they're really not <sighs> tell me more it's so sad yeah like oh my gosh this is the hardest thing they ever had to do like they don't know how to do this this is really hard for them i'm hearing that this is the most difficult thing they ever had to do and i highly doubt it but yeah they're burdened they're burdened by maybe lack of achievement lack of skills I, I can't I can't explain this shit you guys like they're very burdened by this and they live their life like this they feel like they haven't lived up to their own potential they feel like they they are not living up to their potential they feel like they have not lived up to their potential hold the hell up something may have happened there may be a deeper story to this <sighs> they're battling something here Pisces there's another story. I just heard that there's another story outside of the situation that they are not um, sharing with you. And you, knowing you, you're intuitive, you know that there's a reason for everything or a reason for every behavior. So this behavior that they are showing is based off of their internal conflict they have some type of internal conflict and it could have happened it is something that happened externally in their past um in regards to a job or a placement in their job they feel burdened by something there's a lack of achievement here in in regards to positions or authority or positions in their life so this is weird so it's like uh, it's like they're holding on to a position I know this sounds crazy. I just got to let spirit work through me. They're holding on to a position or a ranking that's no longer theirs. It's like when you hold, like, y'all, I swear to God, y'all, I put this on everything I love. I was driving and someone followed me. Okay, okay, of course. You know, I did something bad on the road. So someone followed me. Literally, like, they tried to follow me to my house because, thank God, I'm so intuitive. I was like, okay, it seemed like this person is following me. So I just pulled over and act like I went somewhere else. And they, and they came up to me. Um and he held up a badge and he was like uh do you see this uh you you shouldn't have been doing this on the road or you whatever however I, I was driving but i didn't realize it and um i was just trying to get back home it was raining and he was saying holding up a badge right and was saying i should call my buddies i should call my buddies my cop buddies and i'm thinking to myself you're not a cop show now like you don't be doing that to people you can get killed like this in your day and time like what are you doing you don't follow people home you don't show a fake badge with your security badge like you're not a cop so i don't know i feel like whoever this person is you got to get the whole story baby you got to get the whole story when it comes to this person uh especially on the reason why they be they're acting this way or behaving this way they are ashamed of themselves, I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. They are ashamed of their lack of potential, lack of skills. Um, so they manipulate their potential or their strength and ability. This is sad. I mean, tell me more. 
Yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. Mm, Pisces, you're, um, it's so weird because Pisces, you can't open yourself up to this person in a very loving and emotional way because this person like pisses you off like in some way. They just really make you don't like them. Uh, but I said, oh, okay, no Pisces. I'm hearing that you see the potential in them. You, that's what you see. You see the potential in them, but that's that's not going to create a relationship, not a healthy one. Not if they don't see their issues and, you know, it's like people don't want to see their issues here. So you see their potential with this Knight of Pentacles. You see their potential, but the Seven of Pentacles, you don't want to invest in it. You don't feel like it's worth it. I don't feel like you feel like this person is worth it. And I feel like you want to feel like they're worth it, but you don't feel like they're worth your time, your investment. You just don't feel like they're worth it, especially if they can't be loyal to it, so be, keep it real about something. You feel like it's just a waste of investment, a waste of your energy, a waste of time. Um, tell me more. One card upright. Yeah, the hermit in reverse. Is this a Virgo you're dealing with? Man, you know what? There's there's a lot of um fire and earth here. You could be this could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Any other sign. But geez, there's a lot of Capricorn uh energy. This is a lot of um it's a lot of uh, fire and earth here. It's just a lot going on. Like, look, it's just a lot going on. It's just a lot of things here where someone is just unwilling to release their burdens. And instead of just releasing their burdens, they're carrying their burdens here with them in relation to um, something that was unsuccessful to them. Like I said, it feels strongly like some type of ranking, some type of job, some type of position, um, some type of placement maybe at a job, someone maybe um, like, yeah, I don't know, maybe someone lost a position, lost a ranking in some way, but it's like, they may feel burdened by it and there may be some type of internal conflict and they're carrying that burden and it makes them feel less of a man or a woman, whoever this person is. So it's like they're manipulating. It's weird. It's almost like someone who's manipulating their job duties. They're exaggerating about things. They're 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 making something more than what it is. Let me show you. They're making like their their um it's like they're making their job duties or they're making their their abilities more than what it like what they do. It's like they're 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 acting like they do so fucking much, but they don't do shit. Or they're acting like they have so much responsibility and they don't. They don't. <laughs> like, it's just a trip. Like, oh my God, I can see how you get so irritated with this person. You get so upset. <laughs> and they're not willing to work with you. They're not really willing to see, understand, be a team player and just get where you're coming from or... You know, they're not they're not willing to do it. <laughs> they're manipulating their responsibilities, their duties, and honestly it's a burden and jeez. What the hell? Tell me more. <laughs> what a waste of energy and time. Tell me more. Yeah. The moon in reverse, they're over our energy of you, the tower. Oh my goodness, two of pentacles, two of cups, okay. It's honestly, it's just like you can't like this person for who they are because if this is who they are, you don't like it. You don't like it, you don't like them. The moon is here in reverse. That's why I'm telling you, there's something here in regards to their job, their work, their title, or what they do. Y'all, these damn things are so tight in my head, I feel like slapping somebody. But yeah, so the moon here in reverse, right? It's just like, 
Pisces, just stop right now because at this point, I also feel like, yes, what you, okay, I'm going to keep it real with you. Intuitively, you may have felt something here. Into like your intuition is uh, trying to tell you something about this person. But I feel like this person is manipulating you so much to the point where it's causing you to not trust your own intuition and feelings. It may also be ca uh, causing you to kind of go overboard here with what you're thinking and feeling. So don't allow someone to make you feel crazy, Pisces, is what I'm trying to tell you. Don't allow someone to make you feel crazy because they're not willing to divulge in some type of information. They're not willing to open up about it, even though uh, you're not the only person who's seen it. So Spirit wants me to let you know that you're not the only person who knows this about him. His, his or her, because this is like you could be dealing with a water sign, um, Scorpio, Cancer. Scorpio Cancer or Pisces female, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn Virgo or Taurus male, or you could be dealing with somebody who has heavy earth, fire, or water in their chart. Fire sign too, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here, Virgo energy here. But what's going on is that you're not the only person that sees this in this person. Um, why do I feel like you're not the only person that told this person this or uh, that has brought to this, to this person's attention? This person is well aware um, of this. And honestly, I don't know why I get that they're family and friends and people on the outside in some way, like someone else have said, um, have brought this to this person's attention. And I feel like they bring the same type of drama that they bring to you in regards to it or resistance that they bring to you. They do the same thing with other people. And the seven of pentacles in reverse to me is just like, really like they're not, they're not trying to, um, it's unexcusable, but they're not trying to, They're not trying to do anything about it. They're not trying to do anything about it. They're not trying to do anything about it. They're not to trying to change anything about it, Pisces. I'm about to end this reading, but honestly, Pisces, they're not taking time to reflect on this or to understand this. And for you, it's a waste of time and it's a waste of energy with this person. And they're causing themselves much frustration. Honestly, they don't even realize they're they're causing more issues and drama here in their life when it comes to relationships and connections with the people they love, with family, with friends, even with potential partners here because of this. And they're also ignoring it, is what I'm hearing. They're ignoring it. They're they're ignoring these things here, these people, the situation. They don't want to deal with it, but this is their, this is something in regards to their shadow self or shadow side. Like, but honestly, it's, 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 for me, I just really feel like it's not that deep, but for them, it is that deep. So if I was a Pisces, I'd be like, man, it's not that deep. Just be truthful, be honest. But for them, it is that deep because it's something going, it's something, it's something that has occurred um, in regards to, like I said, something like financial wise, possession wise, uh, authority uh, maybe like ranking some type of limitation on them in some way. So yeah, that may be stopping them from climbing the ladder in some way or whatever. So they just go along with it, but it's not truthful. It's not honest. I do see that they stop communicating with you or they just don't communicate or they don't, they're not opening up period. They're just not opening up about it. If you're still, if this person is still around you and they're still trying to be in your life, then they're just, they shut down when you try to bring it to their attention. This person keeps shutting down about it. That's it. They're detaching from it. They shut down about it. They don't want to talk about this. They don't want to give you the satisfaction or the benefit of saying that you're right or even, you know, acknowledging this about themselves. This is sad. It's an illusion. And I feel like Pisces, it may be driving you crazy or making you feel like, okay, am I just making up something? Am I crazy? But I don't think you are. I don't think you are at all. So... I hope that clarifies something for you so you don't feel crazy. What is the message that I need to give Pisces in regards to this person? What is the message that I need to give to Pisces in regards to this person? <laughs> and it's so weird because this person is not coming out as a narcissist. I just think they're insecure. Yeah, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. 
This may be somebody you're married to or committed to, honey. Um, this may be somebody you're married to or committed to, or this may be someone that you, you know what I'm saying? For some of you guys that you that sees you as marriage potential or, you know, really want to commit to you. But yeah, stay optimistic about your love life. Tell me more. Uh, yeah, heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with this person. Mm. The stay optimistic about your love life is a star card for me. The heart to heart conversation. So it's like this person really wants you to believe something about them. Like they really want you to believe this about them. They want you to believe something about them. Honestly, is what I'm getting, Pisces. A star. They're trying to show something to you for you to believe it. They're trying to present something here for you for you to believe it. And honestly, I don't know why I get this energy that in this case, this is you. You're the you're the masculine energy here because this person's trying to get you to believe something that you don't. You just, you're so, you're like annoyed at the lies or you're annoyed at how untruthful or, yeah, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And I just really feel like this person is just trying to get your attention. That's it. This person just wants your attention in a positive way. Yeah. Finances and career. Shit. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. That's what I'm saying. This person has some type of financial issues, career issues. It's an issue. I feel like this is their way of trying to be positive. This is their way of being optimistic. This is their way of, you know, making like everything is okay. But you know how some people be like, stay positive. This is their way of, they think of being positive. But yeah, honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, so yeah, this person, <laughs> this person feels like in order to be with you, they have to have a certain thing or their finances or career. Like it's like, ugh. They want to be with you. They want to spend time with you. They like being around you, but they can't be honest about something here. Um, they want you to believe something about them in regards to their career in order for you guys to be together. Or they feel like when they're around you, I just, it's just weird. It's, they, they, they do something here when they're around you, but it's because they're trying to get you to like them or they're trying to get you to, that's it. It's attention. It's attention sinking. They, it's like they want to get you to like them. This person could be coming off from work and coming home to you or something. I'm not sure if you know about this for some of you guys. Maybe this is something ongoing right now within a marriage or a commitment. Pay attention to the red flags. Yeah. Keep an open mind. Maybe this may be something going on right now with their career or their situation. Or maybe this is someone that you met and or you're friends with or you know. And this is what's going on in your love life. And this is what you feel. Maybe for some of you guys, it haven't happened yet. This could be past, present, future energy. So, yeah, let me know.